She's trying to keep up with the latest developments and things just progressively seem to get worse for Evergrande. Yes, the, the bad news seems just never end for Evergrande. Uh, just a week ago, you know, it, oh. the news was about the detention of several staff at, uh, uh, at the S management unit of Evergrande. And over the weekend, the company canceled a key shareholder meeting to discuss the company's restructuring, multi-billion dollar restructuring plan. And the company at that time cited uh, reasons you know, such as you know, sales not progressing as well as, you know, as good as expected. And uh, uh, the news trigger a plunge in Evergrande shares and also the securities of other Hong Kong listed Chinese developers. And last night, uh, adding a uh, twist you know, to the uh, turn, the, the company uh, is one of its largest onshore units, you know, defaulted on a 4 billion yuan uh, RMB uh, uh, denominated bond. And at the same time, uh, Chai Xing, which is a prominent Chinese publication, reported that the ex-executives, uh, including the CFO, former CFO and CEO of the company, have been detained by police. No reason uh, were uh, given. But you know, it just seems you know the the the, the, the you know, all, all these you know just you know adds. Uh, as to the uncertainty over the future of the company, the company is sitting on the debt of like more than trillion yuan, and it's you know proposing to restructure the debt based on a proposal announced early this year. But now, uh, you know the the creditors of the company, the offshore down, you know, bond borrower uh, it, it, holders of the company. Are you know facing another uncertainty because you know the company has delayed the the, the the meeting creditor meeting again, and if you remember the proposal includes you know uh, the issue of some new notes you know with maturity of uh, more than like 10 12 years you know to swap out the current uh, debts, and and also you know it's a, uh, the shareholders will you know get uh, creditors of the company will get a portion of company's uh, equities in Evergrande or its some of its units. It's very complex restructuring plan. But you know, all this depends on the future of the uh, China's property market. Uh, mm. The market is, is is facing serious oversupply. Prices, you know, have plunged. You know, in, investors are not buying property, which is a problem for the entire industry and the economy. All of this would really not make it easier for the property sector, as you said, right? How does Evergrande then get out of this mess? It, as I said, I think it depends on the the, the fundamentals of the industry, which is you know is, is facing a serious oversupply issue. Um, Bloomberg Economics estimate there you know uh, 14 trillion yuan uh, of property debts are at risk of defaults. That accounts for about 12 percent of China's GDP. So Evergrande's debts you know sounds big, like more than two, two trillion yuan. It's just the tip of the iceberg. The government here is trying very hard to you know in engineering uh, a soft landing of the sector. Uh, stimulate buying interest, you know, by lowering a purchase threshold and also uh, cutting mortgage interest rates. But the thing is, people are not flocking uh, to, you know, uh, to to buy the projects because, you know, the they they are not confident about the future of their income. The economy is, you know, uh, is not is stagnating. And at the same time, you know, the 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 housing is in serious supply. There is, you know, too much too many houses, empty houses, and too many uncompleted projects around the country.